Hi everyone, hopefully some of you remember the story I brought you a few weeks ago which was from an article from John Rental who said that before the general election the polls will narrow and Labour will panic. Now naturally some people slagged me off for this and said it won't happen, Labour are going to win a landslide, all that stuff, blah blah blah. That's exactly what we're seeing now. Alright, the polls aren't narrowing so much at the moment. But what we are seeing is Starmer panicking like mad to try and get policies out there and try and talk about anything but Angela Rayner. Unfortunately for him and everybody else in the Labour Party, she has become the story. And if you are the story for a few days, you need to go because you're stopping any sort of message that they're trying to get out there from being listened to by the public. Just in the last couple of days, Labour have announced that they are going to rejuvenate the high streets. They've not said how they're going to pay for it. They've said they're going to increase defence spending to 2.5% and build more nuclear submarines. They've not said how they're going to pay for it. They've said they're going to go after tax dodgers. And then in what I thought was a very desperate move, they were trying to talk about levelling up in Blackpool. If you look at Blackpool, compare it to about 10 years ago, it's had massive amounts of money spent on it. And at least along the Golden Mile, along the seafront, it looks a hell of a lot better than it used to. So that was a very bad example to use for levelling up. Starmer's flapping so hard, I'm surprised he hasn't taken off and left the ground yet. He's trying to do anything he can to deflect from Rainer because he's too scared to get rid of her because she'll be a massive thorn in his side. And chucking out uncosted spending pledges is not going to work.